the guy have to. And this is why I really, really do appreciate everything that you've done to get me to this point. Let's see, what do you got? Good luck. Mr. Wong, it's good to see you again. Here you go. To be honest, I had no interest in speaking to you again. But my wife pleaded with me to meet with you one more time. So go ahead and speak your speech, but let me inform you. Please don't waste my time. Absolutely, Mr. Wong. I would never. Um, again, thank you, Ms. Wong, for setting it up. Um, and listen, before I give you my spiel, I just want to give you my sincerest and deepest apologies. I know I came in here and it was a lot of I, 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 me, me, me. And you judged my character. It was a lot of selfish things I said. And I'm aware of that. When you're young and ambitious, sometimes you misrepresent yourself and your character. You have to understand that the intent was there from the right place, but my delivery was absolutely wrong. I'm very sorry. Um, Mr. Wong, listen. I'd like to give an analogy, if you may. You're an amazing chef, all right? I understand the years you put in in culinary school of sweat, tears, and love that you put into preparing your food and this meal that you and your wife are offering me and my family. Now see, my brother, my brother's a vegan. Now if you were to cook a very tenderized, moisturized, down to the bone, amazing and beautifully prepared steak, man, he threw it in the trash. Not understanding the work you put in, not understanding the heat that you stood in the kitchen, and said he didn't want it. I, on the other hand, am not vegan. If I came into your home and went into that same trash can and pulled the steak out, gently washed it off, replated it, appreciated it the way it should have been appreciated, and I eat the meal, does that, in fact, make me disloyal? Your brother not knowing you ate the steak? might be disloyal. Mr. Wong, I would like to challenge that in saying that it's not. You know, after investigation, I learned that sometimes you do things against what your family may know of for the betterment of the family. You might understand that. See, I know that you and your uncle had a little bit of a disagreement back in the day. And there were some things that you might have done that he disapproved of. But as we can clearly see, the business has been in front of it for years and years to come. That doesn't make you disloyal, does it, now, Mr. Wong? Who told you that about my uncle? I did my research. That makes sense. My uncle was a selfish person. He took a lot of advantage of things for, that didn't benefit our family. He abused his power, so I had to take it mm. to make sure that it was built and benefited our family across the board. I still love my uncle, but he wasn't the right person to be in charge. So I can understand where you're coming from, but tell me in your own words, what's happening with you and your brother? I love my brother. I love him dearly. I'm just doing something to change the trajectory in my family's life. See, our trajectory right now isn't on a good path. Not simply leaving them behind. 
Just getting a little bit of a head start so I can go back and get them. That's all. Just like you did. Look, Mr. Wong, I'd love for you to teach me. Take me under your wing. So I can give my family a life like this. So please. For you and Mrs. Wong. What do you say? I did speak with my wife and uh, obviously you're here. We'll give this a try. We'll start off slow. We'll see how you do. Thank you, Mr. Wong. 